This is New Brigate in Leeds, which is currently undergoing repair works and adaptations with the aim of breathing new life into an area which boasts some of the city's key cultural assets, such as the Grand Theatre, the Grand Arcade and St John's, the oldest church in the city centre. It is difficult to imagine the amount of traffic which used to pass along here when it was part of the main route north and south through the city. Using old photographs, maps and current clips, this video tells the story of this interesting thoroughfare. New Brigate is located to the north of the city centre and was a Victorian extension to Brigate, one of the oldest and historic roads in the city of Leeds. New Brigate begins at the intersection of the Hedrow and Brigate and heads north northeast until it connects with North Street and the northern end of Vicar Lane. As we will see, many of the Victorian buildings still remain along the route. However, there have been changes at both ends of New Brigate since it was originally laid out. For example, between 1928 and 1932, the hedgerow was widened and extended and this had an impact upon the southern end of New Brigate. The change allowed the introduction of one of Leeds' most famous department stores, Lewis's. At the time, it was one of the largest department stores in the north of England and a very popular shopping experience. Thousands of people entered the store on its first day of trading, sampling a huge variety of goods, many of which had never been seen outside London. Lewis's sold everything from furniture to food, all housed within one iconic building. On the opposite corner of New Brigate was the Paramount Theatre, a cinema which also opened in 1932 with an enormous capacity of over two and a half thousand people. Its name changed to the Odeon in 1940 and over the following decades the building was adapted so that eventually it had five screens and a capacity of 1,923. Television and competition from new out-of-town cinema complexes affected the number of cinema goers in the city centre in its later years. And sadly, the Odeon closed its doors for the last time in 2001. New Brigate, in fact, once boasted three cinemas along its short length. There was also the Tower Cinema, which opened in 1920 and was a conversion of part of the Grand Arcade. It was a popular venue in its day and lasted all the way until 1985 when it closed and was converted into a nightclub. The oldest of the three picture houses on New Brigate was known as the Plaza in later years and started showing films as early as 1907 in what was a converted section of the Grand Theatre complex. With a capacity of over 800 people, the plaza managed to continue offering presentations into the 1980s and also showed its last film in 1985. Thankfully, its life as a performance space isn't over and as the Howard Assembly Rooms, it has become a beautifully restored venue for a varied programme of music, film, words and performance. The Grand Theatre is one of the most impressive buildings on New Brigate and has been putting on performances since 1878. It was built at a cost of £62,000 and was designed by the architect George Corson. The theatre was designed on a vast scale, taking up three quarters of an acre with a frontage of 162 feet. Corson was assisted by James Robertson Watson 
who had reportedly taken a tour of Europe's churches and theatres for inspiration. It is a magnificent theatre, presenting the best of the West End musicals and other touring productions. Right alongside the Grand Theatre is the Grand Arcade, one of the oldest shopping arcades in the city and built in 1897. It is a lovely bright arcade and includes a recently restored Potts clock. Potts were a Leeds based company and their clocks were installed in public buildings, churches, railway stations, workplaces and other premises. Many were installed in Leeds, including the Corn Exchange. In recent years, the Grand Arcade and adjoining Merrion Street have become a destination for people who enjoy the developing bars and restaurants the area has to offer. The construction of the Inner Ring Road in the 1960s had a major impact upon New Brigget and the buildings highlighted here were demolished as part of the development. As New Brigate headed north-northeast and downhill to join North Street, there was once a lovely collection of buildings on the left-hand side, with Rothwells on the corner. The row of buildings had an interesting facade that was different to many of the typical buildings in the city. However, they unfortunately stood in the path of the inner ring road and had to go. Today, it is impossible to tell the buildings were ever there and every trace of them is now gone. I can't imagine they would have been allowed to demolish impressive buildings like this today. The half-timbered houses and shops were built in 1901 and are unlike any other street in the city and a real loss. The sheer scale of the Inner Ring Road construction is enormous when you consider how much earth was moved in its creation. If you imagine the land used to run level here, the amount of missing material that was taken away to create the road is incredible. It is some 30 or 40 metres below the original surface in places. New Brigate gained an access road to the westbound carriageway, which further increased the amount of traffic that ran along it. Reorganisation and pedestrianisation in recent decades in Leeds city centre have had a dramatic effect upon road traffic. Brigit and New Brigit used to be jammed with cars passing through the city. Today, it is quieter and people can move around more peacefully on foot. These new works will restrict vehicles still further. In addition to cinemas and the theatre, New Brigitte is well known for small cafes and numerous takeaway food outlets. It will be interesting to see if they remain as the regeneration of the area continues. In the distant past, the area took on more of a genteel feel. By the 1980s, it became well known as a place to grab food after a night out in the city. That is still the case, but with gentrification often comes an increase in property rents, which may affect the types of businesses that can afford to be here. The buildings that remain on the west side of New Brigit are old and tired, but well worth saving. Red brick is one of the traditional building materials in the city of Leeds and with the retention of the sash windows and renovation, these properties will continue to be an asset to the city. New Brigit only came into existence in the 1860s. It was agreed to be started in 1867 and completed in 1869. Forming the new street involved the demolition of St John's Vicarage. The new route cut between the church and vicarage and across Merrion Street, as it does today. 
St John the Evangelist Church is still present and accessed from New Brigit. It is the oldest church in Leeds city centre, although sadly no longer in regular use. It was built between 1632 and 1634, a turbulent time in England when very few new churches were constructed. The church building was entirely funded by wealthy merchant and royalist John Harrison, who paid for the grammar school and almshouses nearby. Harrison's benevolent spirit still pervades the church. He is buried near the altar and a series of stained glass windows depict his good works. The church grounds and nearby gardens offer a quiet space for people to take a break from the pace of life in the city and it is a real bonus that they remain. Despite traffic improvements, the most northerly extent of New Brigit is still more or less given over to vehicle traffic, but several interesting older buildings remain at this end of the road, including what was once the Leeds Public Dispensary. The building was commenced in 1865 and completed in 1867. Dispensaries were established as charitable institutions to dispense medicines and provide medical advice for the poorer and more vulnerable members of society without admission to hospital. In the late 20th century, the building was not in use, but in 2009, the ground floor was converted to commercial premises and in 2011, the first floor into seven flats. New Brigit has witnessed many changes in its lifetime and those changes continue to take place. It is good to see the importance of this area is being recognised and steps taken to repair and preserve the interesting architecture. This thoroughfare was once very busy with both people and vehicles. Hopefully it will continue to be in the future and perhaps the lack of traffic will allow people more time to enjoy the surroundings and reflect on the area's interesting past. I do hope you have enjoyed this look at New Brigit. Check out the other Leeds Local History videos from Geography Juice. Please press like and subscribe to see more videos like this. Thank you for watching.